Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you for Sunday, September the 17th, 2023. And this is a day that again brings in freshness, vitality, vibrancy, a new way of approaching life, a new perspective that has been opened up for you. So if you ever you are a person or if you have been a person always that has thought that you're not intuitive or you don't have any special skills or anything, this is the day to address all of your self-esteem issues, not just to do with intuition, but just see how you describe yourself in general. If someone asks you to describe yourself and they don't know you, would you be able to actually praise yourself or you find that to be arrogant, that you're not supposed to praise yourself, you're just supposed to put yourself down because that's supposed to be humble and is representing humility and is part of spirituality. That's not true. That's just being mean to yourself and putting yourself down or accepting others' criticism of you to be a reality. In fact, today, that is why the keeper of the Akashic Records, Archangel Raziel, comes in a very, very special form to us to help us remember and to help us literally see our Akashic records. Yes, to see, not to read this time. Through this image, you'll be able to actually access and get a mini, you can say, Akashic reading right through this message this day. He wants to share this with all of humanity. He's just so excited to do that for each one because more and more the planetary energy is opening up And the more receptive you are, you can be part of this, you can say, onslaught of movement and change and become part of it and enjoy it. And the Akashic Records, of course, are the ancient space that hold all of the information for everything, for humanity, for movement, for planet, for you, of course, your individual records, who you've been connected to, what your purpose is. And it's so impossible, of course, in our daily life on earth and with our daily responsibilities and carrying a human body to be able to access all of this information. It's overwhelming, right? How can you sit there like a yogi for hours and hours and centuries and centuries doing nothing but receiving spiritual information? Yes, you can. The Divine Ones want you to know that you can do this in in your body while driving a car, while picking up your groceries, while cooking your food, And all of this, you can still be part of the Akashic spaces and be getting information. Why? Because you've been given intuitive faculties for that reason. That you don't have to do it in some yogic posture, but you can receive it right while you're breathing and taking care of your daily responsibilities. What are you doing? You're basically doing yin and yang, managing mind, body, and spirit together. So that's what's happening here today. And your intuitive faculties are being heightened and enhanced to be able to achieve this result of receiving Akashic information. And Archangel Raziel wants to make it very easy for us because this image is right here in front of us. And this is something that you can easily see. That is why it's being brought forward through this message to make it very simple for you. So first of all, just as he's holding his heart, hold your palm up. Now palm, which palm? You let your intuition decide which palm comes up. So whichever one comes up, place that open, an open palm on top of your heart chakra. And you can see where he's holding it. So if you have no idea of the chakra points and you've never done this before, this is the day to perhaps for the first time, experience that for yourself. Just touch your heart chakra and just take a deep breath in. And for those who are already aware, you might already feel a strong vibration. Pure light is coming through now. The portal of the heart is open. And for those who have not, it's like you'll be introduced to your heart. So say hello if you want to to your own heart chakra 
that I'm present, I'm here, I'm alive. And just smile, knowing that this is you. You who is pure light, you who is pure love, and you who is a receptacle and receiving. And trust. Now you can trust whatever comes through your heart. What have you done? You've opened up a golden orb of receptivity. That's the golden light behind his fingers there. And you can call upon this. Don't remember all of the sentence if you want to. Just orb of receptivity. To call in pure heavenly light, please help me with. And use your own words. Again, you don't have to follow word for word here. This is just to open you up and to help you feel. And then why are there these sparkling lights next to his throat? Again, a form of receiving from the Akashic spaces. This time, you're using this for all the words that you speak this day. Not just in spiritual connection and not just for meditation or prayer or invocation, but in normal conversation. That's why you were asked to describe yourself. If you are in some way being negative or engaged in some form of negativity, you get into argument or whatever, whatever way you're using words that is going against the light, that is, that is harsh, bitter, you can change it. Those are the little diamond, the diamonds, the golden diamonds and the golden stars. See which one calls out to you now. There's a reason behind that. Just think about it. Is it a diamond or is it a star that calls out? So whichever one comes, the diamond is representing basically the pure nature of the Akashic spaces. What never changes? Your eternal truth that you're a child of light. I am. The I am statements will now roll out. You'll be able to write them down. If you write down even 10 statements about yourself, they'll all be positive. Now, what are the stars? The stars are where you can change what you want to about yourself, about what you don't like in your life, what you want to enhance, what you want to clear, what you want to understand, what you want to heal, relationships, interactions, faculties, opportunities. Basically, your manifestations are in these stars. Archangel Raziel, please help me with. And this time, verbalize what you want to. And you can even use this in a very interesting way to meet your own self or even to go into your Akashic space. You're actually creating your own meditation, so don't even read a, a single book. Just look into his eyes and ask your pathway to be made clear for you. And speak into any form of recording that you have, a recording device, your own mobile phone. And if you want to put music, good for you. Don't make it into this some great practice. You're not selling it. It's just for you. So if you want to just have pure quiet behind you, that's fine. It's your own voice speaking back to you. The script, you decide the script spontaneously. It's like you're just speaking to yourself. Archangel Brazil, help me understand. Then start speaking. I want to understand about what is it that I need to know about. And that answer, it's like you're speaking back to yourself and getting that answer. And ask him if you want to, to help you using one of the instruments here around him, his scepter, the wings, the robe he's wearing, the necklace, his own wise eyes, the orb behind him. However you feel directed to, ask him to help you with this answer and he will help you receive your answer. And then you can also ask, the more adventurous that you are, to create a particular pathway. It's like this is a road that you're scripting and making for yourself. You're constructing this road to reach the Akashic Records for your own self. 
Now, don't make this into professional practice. This has just been given to you as a gift for daily usage. You can even use it to clear away something you don't like during your day and come back to this time and again. Touch your heart to reactivate the orb of connection. And Archangel Raziel will be present to help you do the Akashic spaces for whatever purpose that you want to use this. So be very, very honorable with this. He's giving it to you as a gift. And now behind him is the orb of receptivity, of clairvoyance. Now clairvoyance, basically the word itself, means clear seeing. So this is your capacity to literally see. During this meditation, if you want a more visual experience, to see all that you see in the Akashic spaces and retain that. To be able to see daily objects with a different glow, to understand your aura, and if you are already an Akashic master or healer or Reiki healer, then this will enhance your ability to see symbols, to connect with oracle cards, to connect with tarot symbols, to connect with symbols in meditation, just in general. And another practice you can also do for yourself, again, by touching his palm and bringing it then to your own heart, once again taking the breath in, bringing both your palms together this time. Think of some image that you want to just generate in your palm, that you want the capacity to see, whatever, for whatever reason. Be it health, be it prosperity, the daily responsibilities that you have on your plate, Be it, be it wanting to connect with a particular master. Just think of an intention first before you bring your palms together. Whatever intention you have. Again, make it unique to you. Don't think about that you have to pass some exam. This is just for you. Harmonious relationships. Capacity to express yourself. I'm quiet for a moment to just allow you to think. Come up with just one intention. Whatever your heart says is your priority right now. And don't think of the possibility, the impossibility in receiving or how do I achieve this. Just what do you want to understand from the Akashic spaces that is a priority according to the divine ones for you? You'll receive that. It will automatically come through your higher self. What have you also done? You've opened up your capacity to trust what you receive from your higher self. And then you will get one symbol. Simple. Very simple. If you're a person who has a hard time opening up to people and you're just always finding yourself recently maybe in arguments... Or you just get into, you know, just bitter words with people and you just speak out against anyone or everyone. Then you will get maybe just the symbol of a heart or a rose or a lotus or just pink. It could be just a pink bubble of light. Trust that. Again, it's coming from your Akashic spaces and you are, my friend, enjoying an Akashic Records reading without being... A professional practitioner. This is just for you to be able to connect and trust that you can connect to this ancient space. Because it's coming through an archangel, you are connecting for your own self, for your own reasons, for your own intention, and it's being honored. So again, as stated before, just for ethical reasons, do not use this as a practice to then showcase on another meditation or to sell, or to use for professional purposes. That requires proper training and going to the proper grounds. And the angelic sources will never support that kind of greed, you can say. And you know that. You'll feel cold. It won't be supported. 
Now go back and look at his image again. And now you see all of his face is sh shining, glowing with the light. You can feel that within you now. A certain kind of heat, a warmth will come from all this activity that you've engaged in just now. And his white hair that's glowing to the left and right side is the wisdom that is pouring down from the Akashic spaces and helping your ability to see, to get enhanced. Because this day, the focus of, of the intuitive faculties is upon the clairvoyant gift. So if you've never opened it, go ahead and look at his third eye and accept that golden flow, the golden ray. That is just, it's not even got any shape right to it. It's just glowing. Just accept that. And feel the vibration in your third eye region opening if it's never opened before. And if it is open, it'll get enhanced. Your ability to see the shapes will get strengthened. And you'll be able to understand and explain them and work with them in a better manner and in a unique manner for your own self. That's why you can go ahead and use, again, that ability to express that's been given to you to the diamonds and to the stars to understand how you express and how you use this ability to the best and highest of purpose. And then you can go ahead and make it unique to your own self and use it for, for professional purposes then because you've received it from your own guides and from Archangel Raziel to be used uniquely by you. To be, to be molded, you can say. Then you can own it in that sense. And if you see now, the scepter he's holding, each one of those colors, of course, represents a portion of your chakra points. So maybe your clairvoyant gift has a special purpose and a special reason to open up one of your chakras also, for some special form of healing that is unique to you, a movement you need, an action step, a realization, where you're stuck, fears that are holding you back, obstacles that are standing in your way, symbols that you need to work with. And here, Reiki practitioners, you can merge Archangel Raziel's presence with your pre-existing knowledge of symbols and you can merge two symbols into one chakra after you've opened it up prior to working with the symbols in your palms. And just hold that scepter and feel it. Feel it moving. Feel it changing. Feel it awakening, rising, giving you something, some information that could actually come as a clairvoyant short movie to you so you can close your eyes for a moment to receive it even and continue holding your hand on your heart so you feel stronger through the process that your focus doesn't go all over the place and you might ask now all this beautiful movement do I have to be outside do I have to be indoors where do I have to be to do this wherever you can be undisturbed and have quiet space for say about half an hour to yourself Again, up to you to decide where you want to be, even sitting inside your car or in, in a park space, depending on how adventurous again you are. You decide. And see each one of these colors then. And if you just want to open up your chakras, a very simple, simple way to do this for yourself daily, look at the scepter. First of all, absorb that golden light coming from the top of the scepter as if it's pouring down your body. And then wherever you feel stuck still or feel limited or hurting or tired or feverish in some way, that's your divine health or that's a point that's needing healing, needing movement, needing attention. So go to that chakra point and see then the color related to it and see movement. 
what is it doing? It's opening it up. It's like it's clearing and washing off the unnecessary. And then the wings, the huge wings on the left and right side of him, use them literally to fan off all the unnecessary reasons that you carried from your past that you don't even want to remember visually speaking, visual memories, places you've seen, people you've interacted with, situations, bad dreams even. Whatever comes up visually, clear it away to the left side with his left wings. And you can brush it off yourself by just moving your left shoulder. And then the right shoulder is connected to the right side of his wings for your future. Again, where you're holding yourself back, what you hope to achieve and what you hope to see. And it doesn't match your feeling and the images and feeling don't match, then there's something wrong, right? You're holding yourself back. Bring in what you want to bring in. Plant the symbol that you want to plant. Plant the movement. Who you have to connect with. What you have to do within yourself, around you, to bring that change in. It's absolutely possible. So without making it more complicated, <laughs> this is Tina signing off for now. And you decide the best path ahead. As much as I could give you as a messenger of the light, I hope I've done it good service this day. So use the statement for yourself. Uh, Archangel Raziel is giving, giving it to you. He's saying, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heaven's love. And this comes to you from the brilliant deck of Archangel Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue and the supreme artwork that makes it so, so easy to connect with Archangel Raziel. This day comes to us from Marius Michael George and he can be reached at capital M-A-R-I-U-S capital F-I-N-E capital A-R-T dot com. So go ahead and enjoy your gift, your clairvoyant gift, and get a lot of clairvoyant blessings from heaven just for yourself to take you only and only into the Akashic spaces, literally happy. That doesn't mean that you're leaving earth, but you're becoming blissful right here, right now. You're not waiting for tomorrow. This day is bringing to you the blessings that you deserve. And you're starting to only get better and better and better. So this is Tina signing off for now. Bye-bye.